All right, Pap, here's what you're gonna be looking at. You're gonna be looking at your PC tower right here. So the first thing that you wanna do is disconnect the power cord right there. You wanna also disconnect your mouse, your keyboard. You're gonna have an ethernet cord for your internet. You wanna disconnect that as well. And then you wanna disconnect your monitor cord. And then everything should be free from back there. So you're gonna be looking at this front right here. You wanna turn it to the back and you're gonna see this latch right here. Basically all you're gonna do is press this down and you might have this locking device up here. Unscrew that while pressing it down, this will slide off. So once that's off right there, this is what you're gonna be looking at. You're gonna to wanna to flip it over like this and you're gonna to wanna to locate the RAM. The RAM is gonna be right here, these two modules right here. Right here and right here. You only got two, they're very thin. So basically you have two right here. One's gonna be made of 256 and the other one's gonna be 128. You wanna find the one that's 128. So basically, you're gonna press down on these white tabs one at a time. So we're gonna press this one down. Then we're gonna go over here and press this one down. Now that just freed our RAM and we just slightly pull up and we can see what we have. So once we've taken out the one that's 128, we're gonna go ahead and put in the new RAM stick that you receive in the mail. It's gonna have one or two notches. Do you see the notches there? You're gonna to wanna to match these notches in with these notches down here. So if you can remember how you took it out in the first place, it will go in the exact same way as the one came out. So this is our new RAM piece. All we're gonna do is come in here, stick it in between the two notches, and make sure that they fit right in there. And we're gonna press down on this side, and that little latch is gonna clip in. And then we're also gonna press down on this side, and that's gonna clip in. So I just double make sure to make sure everything's locked in, and then you're done adding the RAM. So we're just gonna close up the case in two seconds. So we're done adding the RAM. We've just installed it. So we're just gonna slide this back on. Basically it starts back here and it'll go flush and then you just slide, you'll hear a lock. And then we'll go ahead and tighten this back down. And we're done putting that back together. So the next step is to put your PC back on the floor. I've kept it up on the table just to show you. But basically, you're just gonna line back up the keyboard with the mouse, or the keyboard with the corresponding spot. The purple goes into the purple. The green goes into the green, like so. The power goes back into the power. You're gonna have an ethernet cord where you're gonna plug it in down here, and then you're gonna plug in your monitor. And then once you've plugged everything in, you are going to go ahead Make sure everything's snug, you can tighten it down. And then we can turn on the computer. But once we've upgraded, we've already installed the, the RAM and we put back on the door, we can turn back on the computer. And everything is gonna be operating as normal. You should see the normal Dell. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a, uh, a, a signal that's gonna say that your memory has been upgraded or has changed. Press F1 to continue, everything's fine. You'll boot into Windows. So basically, we've just upgraded your RAM from 386 to 1,280. So it's almost four times as much RAM as what you had before. So your computer should be noticeably faster than what it was last time. Once you do this, give me an email back and let me know what you think.